Welcome to this tutorial for ABGD. ABGD is an acronym for Automatic Barcode Gap Discovery and represents a bioinformatic tool designed to propose primary species hypotheses based solely on DNA sequences, typically DNA barcode-like datasets. ABGD is based on the idea that in a pairwise distribution of genetic distances calculated between DNA sequences and representing both intraspecific and interspecific variability, there will be a so-called barcode gap that will separate the intraspecific distances from the interspecific distances. In the graph shown here, the DNA barcode gap is represented by the dashed vertical line. In the process of species delimitation, this barcode gap can be used as a threshold. Two individuals whose sequence distance is below the DNA barcoding gap threshold will be considered as belonging to the same species, and two individuals with distances above the threshold will be considered to belong to different species. However, in many cases, the distributions of the intraspecific and interspecific distances will overlap, thereby hiding the barcode gap to a certain degree. Defining a threshold based on the barcode gap in such cases is more tricky and subjective. The main goal of ABGD is to propose a method to automatically identify the barcode gap even in case of overlapping distributions that is not subjective and thus reproducible. Instead of looking at the pairwise distribution of genetic distances, the approach mainly consists of ranking the genetic distances from the lowest to the highest distance value and plotting the ranks on the x-axis against the distance values on the y-axis. The obtained curve is sigmoidal, with the inflection point of the curve corresponding to the barcode gap. By simply taking the derivative of this curve, one can easily identify the maximum of the derivative. This maximum corresponds to the inflection point of the previous curve, and thus to the barcode gap. It can therefore be used as a threshold to separate intraspecific from interspecific distances in order to propose species hypotheses. Now, let's see how it works in practice. We will here explain the functions of ABGD in the standalone executable version that is being distributed in the framework of the iTaxo Tools project. In addition, ABGD is also available via web servers for which you can find the links on the iTaxo Tools webpage. For running the standalone version, you open the tool by double-clicking the executable and then click on Open to select your FASTA file that contains the alignment of sequences you want to analyze. Keep in mind that ABGD relies on the discrimination between intraspecific and interspecific distances, and therefore it will not be able to detect species limits in a dataset that would include only one species or several species represented each by a single sequence. We also recommend removing the outgroups. If you don't remove them, ABGD will often simply detect two species, one for the outgroup and one for the ingroup. Uploading a file will give you access to the different parameters. Let's review them quickly. First, if you chose to directly upload a matrix of genetic distances instead of an alignment, click on the Mega CSV button. Otherwise, by default, the program will assume you have uploaded an aligned FASTA file of DNA sequences. Second, you can see that ABGD will, by default, generate species partition files in the so-called SPART format and as a table file. If you want to also get a tree, click on the Generate Trees button. The next parameters concern the analysis in itself. As previously explained, ABGD relies on the derivative of the ranked distances to identify the barcode gap. However, we observed that this derivative sometimes doesn't include only one peak, but several, each corresponding to small gaps in the pairwise distribution of genetic distances. To overcome this issue, ABGD will first consider an a priori defined threshold, prior value, and identify in the derivative which peak, following this prior value, is more likely to correspond to the barcode gap. PMIN and PMAX are the minimum and maximum prior values that will be tested by ABGD, and for each of them, ABGD will report a species partition. The values provided by default correspond in most cases to the range of genetic distances, 0.1 to 10%, that include the barcode gap. If the barcode gap in your dataset is out of this range, modify these values. If not, the default values will work fine. The parameter STEP is simply the number of prior values that will be tested within the range PMIN-PMAX. 
Again, the default value of 10 is usually appropriate. A further option is the parameter named method, which allows you to choose between three different substitution models to calculate the genetic distances. Finally, the value x is a way to tune the sensitivity of the method. If, with the default value 1.5, ABGD is not able to detect any barcode gap, try with lower values of x, such as 1.2 or 1.0, until you obtain species partitions. When you are ready with setting the parameters, click on the Run button to start the analysis. After the run of the program is finalized, results can be inspected in the preview window. In this example, ABGD reports, only one partition found with your data, nothing to output. You should try to rerun with a lower x. So let's do that and try setting the x value to one and rerun the analysis. You can see that now ABGD provides a list of partitions, which indicates that it was able to detect a barcode gap. The first output file provided by ABGD is a graph that illustrates, for each tested prior value shown on the x-axis, the number of species hypotheses detected by ABGD on the y-axis. The gray dots correspond to the initial partition, while the red dots represent the recursive partition. In the recursive partition, each species hypothesis delimited in the initial partition is independently run with ABGD, aiming to detect additional barcode gaps. However, the recursive approach tends to detect divergent populations within species, leading to an overestimation of the total number of species. This option is worth exploring if you are interested in estimating the depth of the structure within each species. Focusing solely on the gray dots, you can observe that, except for an extreme prior value that is likely outside the barcode gap, all prior values report a consistent number of 15 species hypotheses. The next output file, named distist SVG, presents the pairwise distribution of genetic distances. It's important to note that these figures are only viewable in small sizes and low resolution within the program. However, for higher resolution, they can be saved, along with all other output files, in the vector-based SVG format. The subsequent output file, labeled Rank SVG, displays the distribution of genetic distances, arranged from the lowest to the highest. The next files include all the partitions in the SPART format for the recursive approach in the file Total Rec SPART, followed by all the partitions in the SPART format for the initial approach in the file Total SPART, and by the individual partitions in separate files showing all individual sequences included in each of the partitions. These files are named Part 1 Text to Part 5 Text for the recursive approach and Part Init 1 Text to Part Init 5 Text for the initial approach. Finally, the last file, titled ABGD Log, provides a summary of the analysis conducted and the corresponding results. You can save all output files to a directory of your choice on your computer using the Save button. For further interpretation of the results, see the original publications of ABGD and the documentation and help files on the iTaxo Tools website. Always remember that the subsets suggested by ABGD constitute primary species hypotheses that should not be uncritically accepted, but should be checked with additional integrative evidence. <laughs>